Hello everyone, Deck Trolls here, and today I have for you my Goblin King deck. Um, I'm gonna post it as a Goblin deck, uh, just so it's easier to find. But um, yeah, let's get to it. You got three Goblin King. This card cannot be attacked if there is another Fiend type monster on your side of the field. The attack and defense of this card becomes equal to the number of fiend type monsters on the field, excluding this card, times a thousand. That's a uh, very straightforward. Um, this card is what I like to call your boss monster. You get multiple of these out on the field, and now they can't be attacked. They can still be destroyed by card effect, but that's not the point here. You got. Three Stygian Sirens. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, special summon one level one fiend type monster from your deck. This is a quick and easy way to get your um, Goblin Kings out, and you can also combo this with Inferno Reckless Summon to get all three out at the same time. You got. Three, Stygian Street Patrol. If this card destroys uh, a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original level of that monster in the graveyard times 100. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one fiend type monster from, with 2000 or less from your hand. This way you can get um, multiple Goblin Kings out per turn, so you can... Um, Potentially double summon, basically. Yeah. You got two Cyber Valley for draw. Uh, you can use one of the following three effects. When this card is selected as an attack target by an opponent's monster, you can remove this card from play and draw one card and end the battle phase. You can remove this card from play, draw one card, and one face up. Wait. You can remove this card from play and one face-up monster you control and draw two cards. Or you can remove this card from play and one card from your hand and place one card from your graveyard to the top of your deck. We got two Sangans. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. But you cannot activate cards or effects with the card's name for the rest of the, f the turn. You can only use this effect of Sangan once per turn. Lastly, you got one Trigodia. When you take battle damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card gains 600 attack and defense for each card in your hand. Once per turn, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls with the same level um, of the sent monster the sent monster had in hand. Take control of that face-up monster. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard. That card's level becomes the same as that target until the end phase. Until the end of the turn. Alright, now for the spells, you got one, one for one. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. Again, you can combo this card with Inferno Reckless Summon to get out three of your uh, Goblin Kings. You got two Inferno Reckless Summon. I'm considering bumping it up to three. Uh, seems like the best option at the moment. Activate only when one monster with 1500 or less attack is special summoned to your side of the field while your opponent controls one face-up monster. Special summon all cards with the same name as a special summon monster from your hand, deck, and graveyard. In face-up attack position, your opponent selects one face-up monster they control and special summon all cards with that same name from their hand, deck, and graveyard. You got one Foolish Burial. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. 
It's a quick and easy way to get your Stygian Street Patrol to the grave. You got one A traffic control because it has goblins and I wanted to make it as goblin-y as possible uh, without actually having to put things like goblin attack force. So it's a continuous spell. If your opponent controls three or more monsters, they cannot de declare an attack. You got two hammer shots. Just uh, destroy one face up attack position mon. Yeah, one face up attack position monster with the highest attack. Uh, if it's tied, you get to choose. You got two shrinks. Select one face up monster on the field. The original attack of that monster is halved until the end of this turn. You got. Two MSTs. Target one face up target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy that target. That's it for the spells. So on to the traps. We got two Robin Zombie. Each time one monster on your side of the field inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent t sends one card from the top of his or her deck to the graveyard. And you got two. Robin Goblin. Each time a monster you control inflicts damage to your opponent, your opponent sends one random card to the grave. You got two Sekretsu Armor. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster and destroy the target. You got two Threatening Roar. Your opponent cannot declare an attack this turn. One Thunder of Ruler. Honestly, though, I feel like you should just get three Threatening Roar because it's basically the same thing. Um, I just don't think I had an extra at the time. You can only activate this card during your opponent's standby phase. Your opponent can uh, cannot conduct his or her battle phase this turn. You got two Draining Shield. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate the attack, and if you do, gain life points equal to the target's attack. One Regeki Break. Discard one card, target one card on the field, destroy it. One Compulsory Evacuation Device. Uh, return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. You got two powerful rebirth. Activate this card by targeting one level four or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Increase its level by one and attack and defense by 100. When the monster is destroyed, destroy this card. All right, guys, that's it for the main deck. And now for the extra deck, I only have one card. You got. Number 54, Lionheart. Requires two, three, my bad, three level one monsters. This face of attack, uh, attack position card cannot be destroyed by battle. When you take battle damage from b battles involving this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of battle damage you took. If this card battles an opponent's monster, during damage calculation, in either player's turn, you can detach one material from this card. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken uh, from that battle. Alright guys, so that is my Goblin King deck profile. Tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Uh, what would you do to make it better? Um, yeah. So remember, I have a 100-plus budget-friendly deck profile, so please make sure to like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot of fun content coming your way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, most importantly, make sure to have fun, guys.